a daily devotion for Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent. We read from Matthew 6, 1 to 6 and 16 to 21. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms... Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, Go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Continuing at verse 16. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. Your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. These are some powerful words that Matthew shares of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And I could probably preach an entire sermon or a sermon series, and it would be all preaching straight into the mirror, looking at myself and the way that I struggle with selfishness, with wanting to look like I'm doing good things. We live in an era where virtue signaling is maybe more important to some people than the good thing that is happening. I'm reminded of a article I read recently about an organization who had a fundraiser to raise $100,000 for a local children's charity, and they spent $50 million in advertising to make sure that everybody saw that they were doing that. That isn't to lampoon that organization, is to point out this is within all of us. We do wind up being driven by selfishness, by the desire to be seen to be good. It doesn't make the good act any less good, but it does take away from what it means to us. I love this reminder that where our treasure is, there your heart will also be. That rings true 2,000 years ago and today. Let's take a moment in prayer. God, as we travel with Jesus on this Lenten journey, as we look at ourselves, as we explore the ways where we fall short of the amazing creation that you made us to be, open our eyes in gentle ways that we might see our own failings and feel your unconditional love As you remind us that even as we fall flat in our faces, you are there saying, I love you. You belong to me. God, we ask for your Holy Spirit to travel with us on our Lenten journey. Bless us with your presence, your courage, and your conviction. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.